welcome to New York City. Just kidding, welcome to Medellin, Colombia. Welcome to Medellin, Colombia. Finally, I can show you some of my favorite attractions in this amazing city that I've been living in for the last two and a half years. I've been in Colombia now since August 2012 and I've been blown away by the amazing places that I've been able to visit. For a small country, there's so much to see and do from amazing beaches, breathtaking mountains, tropical islands, fascinating cities, and so much more. If you come to Colombia, you're gonna love it. I'm at Parque Berrio station, which is uh, one of the metro stations right in the city center. And you need to come here if you're going to visit Parque Portero because it's the closest station. Located in the heart of downtown Medellin are three of the city's most famous attractions, which we'll visit in this video. And first up, the visually striking Rafael Uribe Uribe Palace of Culture building, which is one of Medellin's most well-known landmarks and one of the most photographed buildings in all of Colombia. It currently houses the Institute of Culture and Heritage of Antioquia and often hosts special events such as concerts, art exhibitions and much more. And just outside the Palace of Culture is the famous Botero Plaza, home of Colombian artist Fernando Botero's 23 iconic, fuller figured human and animal sculptures. You've probably never seen other sculptures quite like them. Botero is one of Latin America's most famous artists and his signature style of art and sculptures is larger than life and exaggerated characters. He personally donated all of these sculptures to his hometown Medellin in 2002 and they are proudly on display as a free attraction in the heart of the city which draws in thousands of tourists every year. This fascinating art museum is certainly one of the best museums in all of Colombia and the most popular in Medellin. The museum features over 100 pieces of artwork donated by Fernando Botero, as well as various other religious, colonial and modern art collections. This museum is very large and the exhibits are spread out over three floors, so I recommend allowing yourself at least two hours to wander around the museum and enjoy the exhibits. It's a must-see destination on your Medellin itinerary. Can you believe this is a painting? Yes, a painting, not a sculpture.
this museum is actually really, really big. It's three levels and I'm now, well, you start on the top level, the third level, and then you make your way down through all the wings. And it's really huge, so it's quite tiring. So I'm just stopping for a quick break and to show you the nice plaza outdoors. On a nice sunny day, it would actually look really nice, but uh, it's a beautiful place. You can find out more about all the places I visited in this video by clicking the links in the description box below. And while you're there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching part one of this two-part series. Make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss out on part two coming very soon, which features many of the other attractions of this incredible city. You, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button now. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in part two. Thank you.